Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain about the sterilization and pasteurization of mushroom substrate. Preparing mushroom substrate is the base for successful mushroom farming. Sterilization or pasteurization helps to eliminate bacteria or unwanted living organisms and spores throughout the mushroom cultivation. Contact us for online mushroom cultivation training. Autoclave sterilization method to eliminate all living organisms, bacteria and spores. Sterilization is the only method which is ethical and most effective for mushroom cultivation. In this process, one must soak substrate having the extra water dried and let it dry. Once it dried, fill the substrate in small size polypropylene bags. Check the autoclave and fill the water inside. Then we can load the bags. You can see the photos behind of sawdust and straw which has been loaded in autoclave. Close the top lid to form a sealed chamber. We haven't loaded any bags in autoclave. We made this video for the reference. Autoclave runs through electric power or LPG system. Once you close the lid, turn on the LPG, thus temperature and the pressure inside the autoclave gradually increases. Always sterilize for 35 to 45 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius at 15 psi. After sterilization, turn off the autoclave and let it cool down. Then you can take out the bags and do the spawning process. Pasteurization can be done through many ways. Now I am going to explain about hot water boiling method. You can see in the video, I already loaded the straw bags. You can use nylon net bags to fill straw as it is very easy in carrying. But do not use big size bags as straw becomes heavier after soaking. Using small size bags will be a good idea. I used stone pieces on top of the straw bags to hold them down and to make sure they are fully submerged. In order to give mushrooms advantage over molds and bacteria, make sure the water must be above 80 degrees Celsius. Boiling method eliminates bacteria and other unwanted living organisms. Do not add any chemicals in this process. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos on mushroom cultivation. After filling the water, close the top of the tank and let it boil for 2 hours. Then drain the water. Once the straw is ready, you can do the spawning process. Chemical pasteurization can be done by using formalin and carbendazim. Chemical pasteurization is very easy compared to any other methods. This process suppresses all living organisms and other bacteria in substrate for a certain period of time. Chemically pasteurized substrate gives an advantage over larvae and maggots in mushroom cultivation. Combination of both formalin and carbendazim helps in suppressing the bacteria and other organisms for some period of time which helps spawn to colonize and cover the bed. For 100 liters of water and 10 kg substrate, add 200 ml formalin and 20 gram carbendazim. Always wear protective gear, mask and gloves while handling any kind of chemicals. Measure and use the formaldehyde and carbendazim powder according to the water and substrate. Adding formalin to the water works as a disinfectant. It helps in deactivating both viral and bacterial contamination. Use any tool to stir well to mix with water. Carbendazim is antifungal which kills and prevents fungus in straw. 
it was found to be the best fungicide against the infection of green mold disease of oyster mushrooms. For mushroom spawn booking, you can contact us on this number. Chemical pasteurization helps in controlling competitive fungi, but it does not eliminate spores in substrate. Use net bags to fill the straw and stones to keep them fully submerged. Close the top of the tank and let it soak for 18 to 20 hours. Then drain the water. Once the straw is dried, you can do the spawning process. Hydrated Lime Pasteurization Method In this process, you have to soak straw for 18 to 24 hours in a bath of cold water that has been treated with hydrated lime. This is hydrated lime powder which we are going to use for the pasteurization process. For 100 liters of water and 10 kg substrate, add 500 grams of lime powder. Always use hydrated lime. Do not use agricultural or garden lime. Add lime powder slowly and stir well to mix as it needs some time to dissolve in water. Make sure the lime you use is low in magnesium and high in calcium. It works by rapidly raising the pH level 12 to 14 which kills the majority of competing microorganisms present in the straw. The rapid change in pH ruptures the living organisms which cause them to die. As the water has been treated with hydrated lime, it is ready for the pasteurization process. Now we can add the straw bags and make sure they are fully submerged. In this process, it destroys mold, bacteria and other potential contaminants and it also hydrates the substrate. Drain the water after 18 to 24 hours of soaking. Autoclave sterilization is one of the best process to eliminate spores, bacteria and other unwanted living organisms for mushroom cultivation. But it's very expensive. Chemical pasteurization is less expensive and a quicker process, but it does not eliminate spores in substrate. Boiling method is an all-rounder process. You can cultivate mushrooms using any methods, but for successful mushroom farming, it also depends on substrate, spawn quality, and the environmental condition. For more information, subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can contact us on Instagram at GL Mushrooms. We provide online and offline training. Check the description for contact details.